Hello everyone. Welcome to another time of sharing and just the word. Our words today, our sharing today, uh, comes primarily from the book of Isaiah chapter 29 and we're going to focus on, focus on verse 13. I'll also make a reference to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 8 and 9. And uh, we encourage ourselves and you uh, with this kind of theme today, this theme. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. Isaiah, uh, the most prominent uh, prophet of the, of the Old Testament era, wise man whose ministry lasted over 60 years before he was executed, uh, the husband of a prophetess, was called forward by God at a challenging time. It's interesting how uh, people want to hear the prophet when uh, something pleasant is being said, but many will uh, come to hate the prophet when something, um, some sort of rebuke or chastisement or correction is offered. Uh, Isaiah fulfilled his responsibility in a great fashion. And while uh, some of the people of his time did not necessarily appreciate him, uh, time has shown that his prophecies were on point. Uh, he came and uh, ministered to uh, the southern kingdom, Judah, and the northern kingdom, Israel. Uh, they had kings who were good, kings who weren't too good, uh, but what Isaiah addressed was a sort of numbness and complacency among the people of God. Uh, and their complacency um, affected folk around them, people that they were supposed to be uh, making a difference to and making a difference for, people uh, who were supposed to be drawn by them to God people who were supposed to be enlightened by them were, uh, were uh, worse off because of how the people of God were behaving. Uh, here's what was happening in a word. They were uh, following, they were following traditions. They were going uh, to the temple. Um, uh, they were going through practices, but their practices had become empty. They were just a form of godliness without any substance. Uh, I think sometimes, I look sometimes, and I wonder sometimes, because we have no lack of church buildings and, uh, and quite an army of people who uh, claim um, to be Christians, and I am not one to question that. I am saying, if we are who we are, then we ought to be impacting the atmosphere uh, for the Lord. Uh, there ought to be a difference when people come upon us as people of God uh, in our uh, demeanor, in our attitude, in our outlook, and especially in our hope. There is hope. Isaiah offers this word to the uh, people of Judah, um, he says, wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people drew near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. 
And he goes on to say, therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. In other words, I'm going to have to come upon the people I've sent forth to represent me, and I'm going to have to show even them who I really am. Uh, what an indictment against the people of Judah and what an indictment against mo many of us today um, if the Lord were to uh, depend on us to represent him well in the earth realm how are we standing today are we people of hope are we speaking hope are we practicing hope uh, do people want to come around us because we are hopeful, because we are optimistic, because we do believe that in the midst of all that's going on, God is going to bring us to a greater and a better place. I challenge all of us, leaders, faith leaders, and followers, we say we believe in the priesthood of believers, so all of us then has a responsibility to show forth this hope. Paul, in writing to the church at Corinth, was encouraging them uh, that in spite of Satan's attacks, there are some things that, uh, in which they can be encouraged. He writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Praise the Lord. Be encouraged, saints. Be encouraged. There is hope because there is God. Go forth and share the hope of the Lord. God bless you.